So today I'm going to do a video on Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Now out of the box they allow you to customize the shop banners and the garage signs and stuff like that. I like all these banners. It's pretty easy. But I wanted to take it a step further and wanted to retexture some things in the game. So let's say you want to retexture the computer here. So like this computer. Or how about boxes? I actually made some Neeson Brake and Dorman boxes. And some Supertech boxes. can also do things like retexturing the doors, even the lockers and the welder. This scene here. I even went as far as redoing a lot of the flyers and like little diagrams and stuff that are on the walls. You can see a lot of those here. Even the battery charger. You can even texture a lot of the stuff like the little parts boxes and these bottles and stuff. And I can show you how to do that. So if you're interested in retexturing anything in the game, this is what this guide's going to be about. This is going to be about how to get into texture files and how to extract, edit them, and then put them back into the game. So you can kind of personalize your shop. Now keep in mind, every time the game updates, this is going to be erased. So every time you make a new texture, you're going to want to make sure to back it up because you'll have to reapply it after the game has updated. Now that that's out of the way, let's use this locker as an example. Let's say we want to take this locker and we want to put a, like a big bird or emblem or something on it. Let's do that. Okay, so we're going to need two programs for this. One is going to be Asset Studio, the other one's going to be UABEA. So here's the GitHub page on UABEA. I'll put this in the description. I'll also put a alternate link just in case the link goes down or something happens because it seems to happen more often than usual nowadays. If you get it from GitHub, you'll probably get it here. Here's the GitHub page for Asset Studio. I'll also link it and an alternate link. If you get Asset Studio, it'll be right here. The media fire links that'll be going up will be actual direct links to just the files themselves. Okay, so now to get started. These two programs, the first one that you'll use will be Asset Studio. This is what I use to view and export the texture files. So what we'll do is we'll open this up. Now that we have this open, you want to go to File, Load File, and you want to go to your Car Mechanic Simulator. I go in here, most of the resources for this game are going to be in Shared Assets 9 and 24. So both of those seem to have access to most of the textures. If it's not in one, it's in the other. And a lot of these rely on the other ones like resources.assets to um, keep everything in line. But just as far as viewing and editing everything, 24 and 9 seem to be pretty good at finding things. So let's say we want to try to find that locker. We'll start off with 24. We have a little loading bar down here that'll go. Okay, now that that's loaded, we can go to Asset List. You can type in a description of what the texture name is, which a lot of these are, are completely explanatory. I'll probably put a like list in the description of the names of what the most common things you'd maybe want to edit are. Um, but like let's say we'll put locker in here. And then these are all the, especially the ones that have the underscore color, these are going to be the extra texture files of the locker. So let's say, you know, so let's say, you know, red, gray, and all the other ones. Let's say the one that we want to edit is the new yellow, which would be this one. So we'd highlight this one, and we'd hit right-click it and hit Export Assets. Here you can put it wherever you want. If I put it on desktop, it'll make a folder for it. So underneath desktop, it's now under Texture 2D. It'll be the folder that it'll make for it. I've already been exporting, so that's why there's stuff in here. 
but you'll look for it. Here's this Locker 2 C1 New Color. We're just going to go ahead and throw this on the desktop here. Now you always want to have a good backup of your game put to the side. Uh, that way for sure you have the original to be able to replace it in case you mess up. Okay, now that that's out of the way, what we'll want to do is we'll want to go and we'll want to edit this with something. So I use GIMP. You could probably use Photoshop or whatever you want to to edit with. Okay, so for an example, here's a big eagle head. It's a little transparent PNG you can see through. And like, here's a locker. So with the locker, all these textures are laid out in wraps. So like handles, you've got the little padlock, top and bottom with the lock, stuff like that. And with this, you've got the front, front of the cabinet and then the side of the cabinet is here which is also mirrored for the other side. So let's say we want a giant eagle head on the front of these lockers. So we take this and you can literally just copy and paste it into here. I'm going to put it onto a new layer. Now with this you could either scale it completely across both doors or you could just put it on one door and you could even add more to it. You can do even more with this. I'm just going to use this as an example. So we've got our big eagle head on here. I'm just going to merge it down. And then we come back here and you can either, you can make a copy of it. Always make sure you have your stuff backed up. I'm just going to overwrite this so that it's nice and easy because I have stuff backed up. So now that we've made a new version of this as seen here, we can take this and put it into the game. So the program that we're going to be using to edit this with is going to be UABE by Avalonia. This program, unlike the other one, can actually put this file back into the game. The other one was made for older Unity applications, so it can't do the same thing. So we're going to open this one. Once we open this program, you'll get this. You go to File, Open. You'll want to navigate to your car mechanic simulator and go to the same shared assets you were in. So with this I was on 24. We'll open it up. Now this is very particular. You're going to want to copy the name of the texture that you have because it is picky. So on this one you'll want to click the first thing on the list so it highlights it. We've got a view, search by name, and you'll want to paste it into this box. And then you'll want to hit search down and it'll find it. So with this one, it's locked onto the, the locker file. We'll go over here to plugins and then hit edit texture. Here you hit load and you can navigate to that picture, so that new locker. Hit open, hit save. Now from here you want to hit save hit file and then save and it'll give you the name of the file that it's actually saving it to. So we're going to save this desktop because this is now the new version of that file that's been edited. So hit save, wait a little while, make sure that there's no spinny mouse cursor or anything indicating that it's still saving. So when there's not, you can exit out, and now we have this file. So you'll want to paste this into your car mechanic simulator and replace the existing file with it since it's just edited. <clears throat> Once that's done, we can launch the game. Okay, now that we're back in the game, here's the locker with our eagle head on it. And you'll also want to kind of look at the texture whenever you do this stuff, if you're picky. Notice how there's certain things, like on this, there's the fins that come through. You'll have that coming through, and you'll want to make sure that if there's anything you, you're really picky about, where if you don't want that with the ripples over it, you need to make sure to put it down further onto the texture so it doesn't get in the way. Another thing, too, is to look for where there's stickers on items, where there's like a raised reflection, because you can replace those stickers with something else, and it'll actually look correct. With a lot of things like this Metrol locker, it's actually got like a, a lighting 
It's like a lighting map or something like that. It's like a reflection to it. So you'll have to keep that in mind if you're going to do a retexture on it. For this, I just literally redid the Metrol logo and the cube to, like, the same colors as the character I was putting on the locker. These same things can be applied to the car parts themselves. I put a Cardone label on the ABS module to be more realistic. And for the battery, I put a Napa Legend decal on it. To be a little bit more realistic, in my mind. I've worked at multiple different auto parts stores, so I like... I'm, I'm just a big fan of logo designs. So... I'm a weirdo like that. So if you're a weirdo like me and you want to edit the, like, ins and outs of the game where it's like, oh yeah, this is this parts of this or whatever, that's how you can do it. I put Haltech on the computers, so I thought it would look cool. But as you can see, there's still like a sticker decal, like a reflection thing going on. So if that bothers you, uh, there's certain things that have that that you can't really do anything with. But I actually like that because at a distance it looks like it's got the little doors that you pop off to put the ROM chips in, so it doesn't really bother me. Now most of this stuff is easy, it's literally just editing the textures just like that. There are some things that are require some extra attention. One of those things is the little diagrams and stuff that are hung up on the wall. The actual texture for those has two different locations that you have to overwrite for it to work. If you edit one of them, it just won't do anything. So let me show you that right now. Okay, so here's the texture is paper one color. And this is the one that I've done a lot of editing to. But this is what it generally looks like and how all these pages have borders and stuff. You want to make each one of those a different layer and then edit them individually first and also try to keep the lighting about the same or else you'll end up with something that's way too dark or like blaring white across the room. This particular texture I'm going to go into Assets 9 to find. And if we search it the first time you notice you'll get this paper one color. It's a texture. Its path ID is 640. That's the first one. So what you'll do is you'll get it, you'll export it, and you'll edit it. And then when you go to put it back in, not only will you have to find this one, which is path ID 640, once you do this one, if you were to just save it and launch the game, it's not going to show up. There's actually two of them you have to do. So there's paper one color at 640 path ID. Then when you replace that one, you have to hit continue search it'll bring up another one, Path ID 1749. This is the other one. Both of these have to be identical. You have to replace both of these with the same texture. So basically you just edit the first one and then replace that on both of them. After you've replaced both of them, it'll work perfectly fine. That's the only texture that I've noticed that's actually done that. I haven't run into another one like that. On a lot of the box textures, you have to go through, and basically what I did is I took uh, a lot of the box textures and then put numbers on each square, and then took screenshots of them throughout the game so that I knew which ones were the sides of the box, tops of the box, where the, the flaps were, and all of that, and that's how I was able to kind of craft these, give me some variety in, around the warehouse. So let's go into a lot of things that you can do and kind of the creative zone that you can get in with this stuff and type of stuff that I've done. So reskin the WD-40 can with the Mighty Car Mods signed WD-40 label. I just kind of meshed it into it and kind of matched the color match the label a little bit to where it would look good. Here's a screenshot of it. Redid the windshield washer bottle to where it had a Supertech branding to it. Here's the fuel filter with a Pro Select label on it. Here's the ECU1 with a little bit of a recolor with Haltech on it. 
So here's the computer. I just put a Summit logo over it, and I kind of adjusted the color to be kind of like a dark gray. I adjusted the colors on the post-it notes to be a blue to kind of contrast instead of them being the yellow. Then I put an LG DVD drive in here, and then I did that. Kind of didn't know what to do with over here, but I knew I wanted to make it look cool, so I put this little fan controller thing here. Yeah, it looks kind of silly because there's vents here on the model, but I still think it looks pretty cool from a distance. So I just left that there. I could edit that anytime, but I'm not too worried about it. Here's the battery. Basically use the same labels here and here, and then use another label over here. And here's the battery charger. I just took right here where the bevel was on the texture and then made it black out and then put more so on it with a couple flags and then a Pikachu. Here's the ABS control module with a Cardone label on it. This was one of the hardest ones for me to find. So there's a big brown box that's everywhere that are replaced with this SuperTech logoing is garbage set five color. This is where you can find those big ugly brown boxes. And I believe these are like the little blue tool, like little toolkit boxes. And then there's these little organizers in here. So the Metro locker is locker one color. The welder is welder one color. Here's how I laid it out. If you really wanted to work around with the, the trim around the skeleton of the welder or these little folds over that would be a good thing to edit to get that yeah that's pretty much all there is to it sky's the limit when it comes to what you can do I used to do this with my summer car and a few other unity games a few years ago and i play so much car mechanic simulator that i was like hey i want to you know edit things and make them feel kind of at home for me. So that's how I did it.